Hello guys, today we are going to introduce a special function what we call the di gamma function. Okay, so we already did talk about the gamma function. Now we are going to see the di gamma function, and next will be tri gamma and then poly gamma. Okay, so first of all, we are going to deal with this di gamma function. So, definition so the di gamma function is defined as the logarithmic derivative of a gamma function and is denoted by psi okay psi psi okay so this mean so the di gamma function is represented by psi x or psi not x or psi subscript not x okay all these things represent this the di gamma function okay the represent this to why we did here because when we deal with poly gamma function, okay, you will notice it, okay. So this the di gamma function from this definition is nothing but the derivative of derivative of this logarithmic function logarithmic of this gamma function, okay. This is the definition. Therefore, di gamma of x is so if you differentiate derivative of log x will be one over x. So this is gamma x. And here is also a function of x again, so it, this will be then using the chain rule, okay? So this will be the derivative, then it's gamma prime of x. Or we can see that derivative of gamma function is nothing but gamma x times this di gamma x, okay? This is also important. So now this is the definition for introduct introducing of this di gamma function. Now we are going to see a recurrence relation okay now the a recurrence relation is we are going to see now so using gamma function then is gamma of x plus 1 is equal to x times gamma x so this one you can see the proof okay now taking log both sides so log of gamma x plus 1 equal to log of a b is nothing but log a b is log a plus log b right therefore this log x plus log gamma x now taking the derivative with respect to x we get d by dx of log, log gamma of x plus 1 equal to d by dx of log x plus d by dx of natural log of x gamma x i mean so this one if you differentiate so net, uh, derivative of natural log will be 1 over gamma of x plus 1 right upon this is this gamma is a function of x again, so we are differentiate with respect to x, so using the chain rule, so it will be gamma prime of x plus 1, and this, the derivative of x plus 1 will be 1 plus 0, which is 1, okay, so if we keep it like this again, so derivative of natural log will be 1 over x plus this same thing, gamma prime of x upon gamma x, this is gamma prime of x upon gamma x is what we call the the di gamma function so therefore this is nothing but di gamma of x plus 1 which is equal to 1 over x plus di gamma x so this will be the introducing part of this di gamma function and the proof of this recurrence relation okay one so this will be the whole proof